this, you guys. December 27, 2021. The snow is definitely picking up. We're getting into the heaviest part of this storm. I am super excited about this. This is absolutely gorgeous. So most people are leaving this Moon Ridge area because they're leaving Bear Mountain. That's why we're going into this area because we're going to drive through and come out the other side so we don't have to deal with much traffic. Just a bunch of beautiful snow. That's going to be awesome. Wow, look at this, guys. We are on Moon Ridge Road. very easily. No, we're we're going to drive through the neighborhood. We're going to drive around Moon Ridge for a bit. Wow. Look at this. You can't even like really see out there. I love it. I love this type of weather so much. It's so awesome. said most people are leaving this area because the resort is, is closed now. So it shouldn't be too bad driving in. But look at these conditions, you guys. This is awesome. This is what I'm talking about. We have a bunch of snowboarders walking back. Or walking somewhere. I just want to make sure I don't run over anybody here. This is the great weather, you guys. This is what we love here. This is what brings you guys up here. And look, there is no, no traffic going in. The further we go this way, the heavier the snow is going to be. to take time off and then come up here and it's nothing like what the news is saying so I'm glad I can at least provide you a bunch of time saving videos because if it's not what you're expecting then you don't have to waste your time and drive up here but I can't tell you how many times especially working at Bear there were a few days where we, there were some very angry customers 
because uh, the weather report said there was like three three new feet of snow, but they neglected to mention that it was like on the very top of the of the ski resort. That's it. Down here, it was it was like raining. The people were not happy. Ski resort, man. That would be tough to ski in that in those conditions right now. All right, so we are going to. I think we're going to put ourselves in a little bit of a dangerous situation. We're going to go up a little bit higher. We're going to follow this guy. Uh, maybe not. We'll do it a different way. So we don't have to follow anybody. So we just made the loop. And we are going 20 miles per hour. And yes, the snow is picking up nicely. Can't wait to get on one of these side streets so we can turn on our brights. No stop sign. Guys, I'm buttoning my lip right now. I'm being good. I can imagine how scary this would be for a lot of people who are not comfortable driving in this weather and I'm telling you it's most people are not comfortable driving in this weather when I first started I wasn't either it's it's normal I, you know we value our lives <laughs> so whichever if he goes to the left we're just gonna stay to the right yep we're gonna stay to the right Street. Why not, right? Turn the brights a little bit. Make it look so much more pretty. This is a winter wonderland, you guys. This is what I've been waiting for. See, they're putting on chains in the middle of the road. Unreal. It's all right. We'll go down and see them. My mouth shut. Keep my mouth shut. I mean, like, 
pull over to the side. I didn't keep my mouth shut. I apologize. I don't, I don't mean to get frustrated like that, but it's just, it's just common sense. Like, like if you need to put on your chains and just kind of pull over so other people can get by. And so you don't get hurt. That's the most important part. Anyway, there's going to be a lot of that this week, I guarantee you. That's the biggest complaint for most of the locals is people stopping in the middle of the street putting on their tire chains. I mean, I want you guys to be safe too. Okay. There's some people up here on the right, so I need to be very cautious of them. This is one of the most beautiful times of night to drive out here, especially with this type of weather and the iPhone camera. It's 27 degrees, almost five o'clock, and dark, getting dark. Passing my buddy's house right now. Looks like he got a new truck, or he's got a female companion over. Sketchy little area to drive, but these guys are going super slow, so we're good. We're gonna stay on this. If we make a left here on Elm, we'd be hitting Moon Ridge Road, but we are not gonna hit Moon Ridge Road. We're gonna continue on this. And then take some of these side streets. I could take this side street, but it's very steep. It's nice to do different parts of town for you guys. But yeah, this is so beautiful. See, I'm not speeding you guys. It says 16, I'm only going 16. But I know it looks a lot faster in the video. I'm not that bad. I used to be really bad. I used to drive really fast in, in these conditions, but you guys, the ones who really care, uh, you know, I listen to you. Because you do care. And not about yourselves. When I'm driving super fast in these conditions, it is a bit selfish. Tracks, look at this. 
but I think we're at the end. <laughs> what did I do? We're gonna have to turn around because I screwed up. That's a good one. Look at this beautiful rental house right here. too well. So as soon as we hit the snow, there we go. We're good. We're going to turn up the next street here. It's kind of cool getting lost in my own little town here. I hope this doesn't say no through street. We're good. We are good, good, good. Crystal Lake again. Well, we're, we're gonna hang a right. And this will take us to Fox Farm Road. first friend on this channel many years ago. I want to say it was that place, but I could be wrong. I usually am wrong. Okay, we got a bunch of kids out of here, so we got to slow right now. concern is those people in the middle of the street will be on the downhill slope now and so that that would be a big problem because if we're trying to to get by them and I lose control see that's that's the problem is that they were on that upslope I really hope that they got their chains on and got out of there safely stop sign just for giggles oh well, I was gonna slam slam on my brakes but this guy just is sitting at the stop sign I wanted to see how my brakes were gonna work out right now yeah, I'll slam them right now wow we totally stopped totally fine that's awesome Stay on this, you guys, and cross Big Bear Boulevard, it turns into Stanfield Cutoff. Wow, look how beautiful it is. That light in the middle of the road out there just looks so cool. One of you mentioned something that's a great idea for my for my time lapses. I need more light at nighttime so you guys can see what's going on. 
things, and uh, I am going to get that figured out. I'm going to ask my neighbor, Matt, to help me help me figure something out. Jeez, look at all this snow. This is just unbelievable. That's the World Mark Resort. It's really huge. I think it's the biggest in town by a long shot. dangerous as well but the homes are magnificent but it's very steep very very steep I don't know why I'm doing this actually for you guys but look at some of these homes Woo. And look at how steep this is yeah if you have an Airbnb up here and you have two-wheel drive good luck good freaking luck that's what the chains are for I know chains are a pain in the butt I'm telling you if someone could come up with an invention that would just be so much easier to put the tire chains on man they'd be filthy rich they're gonna have to take that place as cheese but I guess there is one invention it's called four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive vehicles and snow tires <laughs> Seriously, these homes are magnificent. Just magnificent. Look, look, look at how beautiful. Huge. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. anybody's wondering okay. I don't know if I've ever been up to the right so we're gonna go up to the right let's do it it's probably not the smartest thing to do if I don't know where I'm going because we're climbing an elevation considerably again look at these houses man holy moly from up here though are epic absolutely epic wow uh, we're having a nice steady snow this is the accumulation oh look at that I've actually been to that house It feels like we're in like Beverly Hills up here. I'm just gonna put my car in a lower gear. I'm a little concerned right now. Because I don't know this part. try to shut up for a couple minutes I promise it's 511 I'll try to be quiet till 515 I don't know if that's gonna be possible for me but I'll try
next day. <laughs> we did a complete circle. I didn't shut up for five minutes because I did a complete circle. I need to figure out a way out of here. So I'll get out of here somehow. We're just gonna have to drive this again. treacherous you guys this is very steep so we definitely don't want to get too close to this guy behind us in case we lose control give me time to, to, to go to go around if i start slipping and sliding but he's doing the right thing he is doing the right thing don't want to take any risks in these roads like this to the main boulevard here. I think this guy holds some serious butt. Good for you, man. Good for you. See how far I'm supposed to pull up, so I don't know if I'm triggering the the what you call it or not. But look at how beautiful this is.
careful people don't slide through the intersection. These guys are going to get to go. F oh, we're going to get to go first. Wow. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Sideways here, maybe. Okay, we're back on Big Bear Boulevard, folks, and it is dark as can be.
Snow Summit is just to the left of us. This is going to take us down to Brownie Lane. satellite park, one of the satellite parking lots for Snow Summit on the left. I tell you guys that all the time, but I want you guys to always remember that's the brownie lot. you guys a lot thank you guys for everything thank you for the support and i'll be going back out a little bit later peace out